Hey everybody, it's me, Abby, and today I'm going to be doing a story time video. Basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be telling about my experience of when I met the Merrill Twins. The Merrill Twins are one of my favorite YouTubers. I'm very glad that I got to meet them. I'm just going to be telling like my experience, I guess, and then at the end I'm going to be showing all the videos that I got. The show that I went to was the one in Chicago. The place that they were having the show at was called Lincoln Hall, and I've never been there before, but it was a really cool place. There was this room where there was a stage and everything. The whole rest of the area was like this bar, restaurant type of thing. It was just me and my mom going there, and the place that it was at was an hour away from where I live. The show started at like 12 o'clock and we got there right before it was about to start, so we were kind of late. It was a really cool show and the way they started it was really cool. They made a video of them in the car brainstorming ideas. One of the ideas was come out on stage singing All I Do Is Win, but instead of saying win, say All I Do Is Twin. All I do is win, twin, twin, no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the field, on it, everybody hands go up. And they stay there, and they stay there. Some of the things they did in the show were they had people come from the audience and play Heads Up, which is that game like on your phone, you know. I really wanted to go up, but they did not call on me, so. And they also did a Q&A where their dad went around in the audience, and then people asked them questions, and they answered them, you know. And then they also sang their song, Internet Crush. That song is the most relatable song of every song ever made. At the very end of the show, they played this song from like the 80s called let's groove and now i'm like obsessed with that song like they like the noodle dance if you don't watch the Marilyn's, you would not know what that is the way that they did the meet and greet was as you walked in they would give you a wristband of a color and then they would call the color wristband to go up and wait in the line to go meet them but since my mom and i got there late we did not have a wristband so we had to wait till the very end and we waited up there and then we decided to go and get some food because it was at like a restaurant. Where the tables were to eat, that was right next to where they were doing their little meet and greet thing. So I was basically eating food next to the Merrill Twins and I was freaking out the entire time. And also, I freaked out because they played Let Go by Johnny Orlando, which I'm obsessed with that song and that person, if you didn't know which now you do now. And they also played Hit or Miss, which I thought was hilarious for some reason. But then, it was my turn to go meet them. And my mom, if you don't watch the Merrill Twins, then you wouldn't know that for the video they made announcing that they were going on tour, they made like a little song. So my mom thought it would be fun if we made a song about going to Chicago to meet them and make a little parody of the song that they made. And she wanted me to sing it in front of them, but I, did not want to do that at all. I was like, you can do it. She said she was going to do it. I did not believe her. But she sang that song in front of them. Got pictures. And then, when I got home, I have a Twitter, if you didn't know. I don't really post anything of my own on there. I basically just got it so I could go through other people's tweets. I decided to post the picture that I got with them on Twitter to see what would happen. Later that night, I was asleep. But then I was woken up by my phone going off a bajillion times. I didn't know what was happening. I just thought, oh, people are liking it. That's great. I didn't even find out till like two days later after I was going through all the people who retweeted it. I saw the Merrill Twins retweeted it. But anyways, guys, that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And remember, don't forget to comment down below, like this video, and subscribe. Bye. Just kidding. Now for the best part you've all been waiting for, all the videos that I got, so let's just go to that, okay? Yeah. Um, it's like charades, but like, yeah, it's like charades. <laughs> um, you guys can talk. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Does that mean you go first? I guess we okay. go first. Oh, rowing a boat. Uh, it's kayaking. Uh, uh, do you, doing a little dance. Rowing man. I don't know what that's going I don't know. <laughs> Farting? <laughs> oh, it's a tail! <laughs> you won. I think I might have won. Let's see, let's see. Airport security! <laughs> loud so you guys can beat Boston, because they were actually pretty loud. Like, the rumors are true, they're really loud. But I think you guys can be a lot louder. Okay, round, and then you all are going to go... <laughs> well, no, not, not, not scream, like not scream, you're going to go... <laughs> like that. Like that. <laughs> okay, ready? Uh, I'm ready. Okay, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. <laughs>
Okay. So we're just chilling in Chicago. <laughs> Definitely be Boston. Definitely. That was a question. Yeah. Okay, right here. <laughs> What's your name? Adeline. Nice to meet you. How's Tiger? Oh, okay. Tiger. Yeah, yeah, for those of you wondering, because that's been a frequently asked question. <laughs> so Tiger had surgery because he um, had an infection on his back, and he had surgery to get like the infection removed, and he's all better now. He had like tubes taken out of him, or because they had to put tubes to drain stuff, but. He has stitches and he, it's healing very nicely now. And he gets his stitches out Wednesday and he's acting more normal now. Um, and so. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the tiger is a lot better now. Uh, what's your most embarrassing moment? Oh, no. Okay, but I'll say mine first because mine is really easy. I don't really like have like a super super embarrassing moment. I just get embarrassed a lot. So like you know like the occasional fart she has a fart like problem. slips out. Definitely. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> that just confirms it. <laughs> okay. So what about you? Um, my most embarrassing moment actually happened to me in kindergarten. I don't. The reason I remember it was because it was super embarrassing. Um, I was like at the drinking fountain and this kid came up to me and pushed me and pantsed me. Uh, <laughs> it was so kind of mean. It was, and it was like a boy too. It was like, what are you doing? And there was like no one around. It was I followed you on Twitter and I have your notice on. I got this car from cut out on Amazon. I liked your picture on Instagram. Please notice me because I just spammed. You tweeted you're beautiful, but who do you mean? If you tweeted that to me, I'd probably scream because I'm so in love with you. If only somehow you knew, which you should know because I tweet you that all the time. Home, we will stay. 